Hello everyone. Very good morning. Very warm welcome once again to the Europe session brought to you by Byju's Exam Prep. So yes, today we have to cover the concept what is multiplexing and demultiplexing. So we'll be talking about multiplexing, demultiplexing, one of a very important topic in the unit computer networks. Also, we are using multiplexing and demultiplexing at multiple places. So in telecommunication and computer networking, multiplexing is one of a very important method which is used for for multiple analog and digital signals right so yes before starting off with the concept one quick confirmation is needed is my voice perfectly audible to you all is ppt clearly visible yes yes everyone one quick confirmation is needed is my voice perfectly audible is ppt clearly visible Okay, so I think everything is perfect. In the last lectures, we have already covered the concept of analog signals and digital signals. And how do we represent analog signals, digital signals, how they are uh, converted, how the analog signals are transmitted, what are the different parameters defining the analog signals like sine wave like uh, the parameters amplitude phase frequency hana so humne bahut kuch jo hai wo already discuss kiya hai related to the analog signals yes please now along with this we have also covered the concept of digital signals which is related to the representation of the data in the digital form ones and zeros hana so ab kya hum padhne wale hain aaj ke session mein today we are going to cover what is the concept of multiplexing and what is the concept of demultiplexing because multiplexing and demultiplexing topic is also related to the concept analog and digital signals because when we talk about transmission of the data in the network which is in the form of analog and digital definitely then we talk about these concepts multiplexing and also demultiplexing okay chaliye but start karne se pehle jaldi se hum log aaj ek interesting point पहले देखेंगे विच इज रिलेटेड टू द कॉन्सेप्ट दैट हाउ वॉट वॉट इज माई स्केड्यूल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स टॉक अबाउट माई स्केड्यूल माई लेक्चर्स ऑन यूट्यूब एंड ऑल्सो ऑन बाई जूज एप सो येस एवरी वन यू ऑल कैन ज्वाइन मी लाइफ फॉर यूट्यूब क्लासेस थर्सडे फ्राइडे एंड सैटरडे सो टूडे इज थर्सडे एंड वी आर मीटिंग इन द मॉर्निंग एट इलेवन ए एम ऑल्सो यू कैन ज्वाइन मी फ्राइडे एंड सैटरडे एट द सेम टाइम इलेवन ए एम एंड ऑल्सो बच्चे ऑल माई बाई जूज एप लेक्चर्स ट्यूजडे इलेवन ए एम फॉर दिस मंथ इट इज ट्यूज Stay 11 a.m. So yes, please kindly note this point that I'll be meeting you 11 a.m. for Byju's app session. So you all have to join for Byju's app session accordingly, right? Please note down the schedule because बहुत interesting sessions अभी होने वाले हैं जो कि बहुत important है आपके लिए join करना और वैसे भी बच्चे हम पूरी preparation journey दोबारा से begin कर चुके हैं after definitely a successful completion of the NET 2022 cycle. Okay, and yes, it's it's really very important to join my Telegram. channel because on telegram i'll be sharing the pdf file of these sessions also very important announcements will be made on telegram so all the students who have not joined telegram here i've added the name of the channel along with the link so please join the telegram group and yes let's begin with a important motivational inspirational quote failure is the opportunity to begin again more intelligently so haan ji jinko aisa lagta hai bachche ki score is bar acha nahi aaya ya unka paper qualify nahi hua unke liye ye bahut important statement hai kyunki failure ka matlab ye nahi hota hai ki aap fail ho gaye hain to aapke paas ab chance nahi hai ab ye aapke paas aur acha chance hai taki aap bahut acche enthusiasm se energy se zeal se next time paper mein appear kare more intelligently in a smarter manner so that you can qualify the paper and definitely net crf yes everyone so let's move to our concept everyone what is the concept of multiplexing how do we define multiplexing and how that is related so all that story we are going to see here 
इन टूडे सेशन जैसा मैंने अभी बोला टेलीकम्युनिकेशन एंड कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क की जब हम बात करते हैं तो मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग इज वन ऑफ द मेथड बाई विच मल्टीपल एनोलॉग सिग्नल्स एंड डिजिटल सिग्नल्स डेफिनेटली दे आर कंबाइंड ऑल टूगेदर इन टू द वन सिग्नल ओवर अ शेयर्ड मीडियम राइट सो द important point to understand the important word to understand about multiplexer and demultiplexer so multiplexer basically is that device which is doing the task of multiplexing ha huh? multiplexer wo device hai jo multiplexing ka kaam karti hai but multiplexing kya hota hai multiplexing basically is that technique in which one channel one medium whatever we have that medium is Shared between multiple analog signals or multiple digital signals. मतलब बहुत सारे analog signals को या बहुत सारे digital signals को merge up करके हम लोग एक medium के through transmit करते हैं मैं simple सा एक example यहाँ पे दूंगी आप देख सकते हो Here I've added one picture in which shown the inputs, right? And also there is one output. Can you see I have given four inputs here A, B, C and D. And for all the inputs there is only one output which is existing. You can also see say that multiplexing is that concept in which let's say i i have a device used here which is called as multiplexer ha na hamare paas jo popular word use ho raha hai wo use ho raha hai multiplexer to multiplexer kya hota hai bachche multiplexer ek device hai jo ki multiplexing ka kaam karti hai jaise ki let's take an example that this is my device used here known as multiplexer so in abbreviated form we call it as mux okay now this mux is combining multiple analog signals or multiple digital signals bahut are there are n number of analog signals or n number of digital signals which are coming here so we call them as input maybe we are considering like analog signals so these are the multiple analog signals which we are using okay so multiple analog signals which are uh, combined all together with the help of this device known as multiplexer and thereby it produces one common channel using one common medium all these analog signals will be combined in sare signals ko hum merge karke ek sa transmit karte hain राइट right? सारे सिग्नल्स को कंबाइन करके एक साथ ट्रांसमिट करते हैं इस पूरे प्रोसेस को हम लोग मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग कहते हैं यस एवरीवन यू आर एब्सोल्युटली राइट वी कैन कॉल दिस लॉजिक एज द मेनी टू वन कॉन्सेप्ट बिकॉज हियर वी हैव मेनी इनपुट्स व्हिच वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग यस डेफिनेटली वी हैव मेनी इनपुट्स व्हिच वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग एंड करिस्पॉन्डिंग टू दीज मेनी इनपुट्स वी जस्ट हैव वन आउटपुट व्हिच इज प्रोड्यूस्ड यस बहुत सारे इनपुट्स का एक आउटपुट प्रोड्यूस होता है तो हम इसको मेनी टू वन लॉजिक बोल देते हैं द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग सिंपल इज अ मैपिंग व्हिच इज मेनी टू वन मैपिंग ओके बट यू नो व्हाट इज द पर्पस ऑफ हैविंग मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग का होने का सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट पर्पस क्या होता है सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट पर्पस जो हम लोग यूज करते हैं फॉर मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग द एम इज टू शेयर द रिसोर्स शेयर एंड व्हाट इज दैट रिसोर्स बच्चे दैट शेयरिंग ऑफ रिसोर्स दैट शेयरिंग ऑफ रिसोर्स इज द रिसोर्स व्हिच इज द मीडियम यस अगर एक एक सिग्नल ट्रांसमिट होगा वन बाय वन करके तो जाएगा तो उसमें भी प्रॉब्लम क्या है प्रॉब्लम ये है कि उसके अंदर जो है चैनल की या जो मीडियम है जो कैरी करके लेके जा रहा है उसकी बैंडविट वेस्ट होती है आप खुद सोचो एक बारी में एक ट्रांसमिट हो रहा है सिग्नल फिर सेकंड टाइम में दूसरा सिग्नल ट्रांसमिट हो रहा है फिर थर्ड टाइम में तीसरा सिग्नल ट्रांसमिट हो रहा है गॉट इट सो जब मल्टीपल सिग्नल्स ट्रांसमिट होते हैं एक टाइम के ऊपर वन बाय वन तो उससे चैनल की बैंडविट वेस्ट होती है तो उस वेस्टेज को प्रिवेंट करने के लिए वी आर नॉट सेंडिंग वन सिग्नल एट वन टाइम रादर वी आर कंबाइनिंग मल्टीपल सिग्नल्स एंड sending them all together ha na to matlab hum log kya promote kar rahe hain yahan pe we are promoting multiple transmissions simultaneously we are promoting in this concept multiple ट्रांसमिशन साइमल्टेनियसली बहुत सारा transmission ek samay par ek sath kiya ja raha hai 
yes multiple transmission simultaneously with one transmission line only or you can say with one link only theek hai ek hi link ke through hum information ko transmit kar rahe hain ek hi samay ke upar transmit kar rahe hain to definitely bahut sare complex signals to hai wo unki complexity kam ho jati hai kyunki yahan par complexity eliminate ho rahi hai hum unki complexity ko merge up kar rahe hain okay so multiplexing is a very simple concept and also it is a important topic why because multi process multiplexing is a process with in which we combine multiple signals theek hai so agenda kya hai hamara combining multiple signals yes please you all know about this हम थोड़ा सा डिटेल इसमें पढ़ेंगे अभी क्योंकि हम इसके कैटेगरी स्टडी करेंगे आज के सेशन में कि व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग विच आर एग्जिस्टिंग ओके सो वी आर कंबाइनिंग मल्टीपल सिग्नल्स इनटू वन सिग्नल yes that is why generally what we call as generally we call it as many to one logic because many inputs are merged up all together and produced only one output yes okay so now bachche on the contrary part we also have another device because what happen when the multiple signals which are transmitted over one outgoing line when they reach to destination then they have to be distributed to the respective destination है ना क्योंकि हो सकता है कि ये वाला सिग्नल मेरा डेस्टिनेशन ए के लिए था दिस सिग्नल इज मेंट फॉर डेस्टिनेशन बी दिस सिग्नल इज मेंट फॉर डेस्टिनेशन सी दिस सिग्नल इज फॉर डेस्टिनेशन डी एंड सो ऑन सो ऑल दीज सिग्नल्स आर एक्चुअली मेंट फॉर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट डेस्टिनेशन सो व्हाट वी वांट वंस दे रीच टू द डेस्टिनेशन पार्ट देन दे शुड बी अगेन डिवाइडेड सेपरेटेड इन द रिस्पेक्टिव डेस्टिनेशन right they should be delivered to the corresponding destinations for which they were actually transmitted for the process of distributing them back into the respective destination we are using the another concept which is called as the demultiplexer and demultiplexer is a device definitely the concept of doing this is demultiplexing so let's see here bachche what is demultiplexer this is a data distributor why because what i said you when the signal is carrying one input with multiple signals like this then we have a device used here which is called as demux which is demultiplexer and the task is it will be splitting the input into the respective destination it will be distributing the input to the respective destination so yes it will again be dividing it in to separate signals right so here we can also say there is only one input which is coming here there is only one input but that is distributed to many different outputs so many outputs will be produced here in the concept yes please okay so here in demultiplexer one input to 2 to the power n output lines where n are the selection lines which are used here and obviously here we are using this to distribute the data to the respective destination taki wo jiske liye hai wo usko distribute ho jaye theek hai acha isme kuch categories hote hain which i'll be discussing in today's session also but first of all let's let's talk let's see a picture here defining the concept so i have added one picture in your notes also you can see so there is one input line which is coming here for demultiplexer that one input line will be distributed among the many different destination so that's what the demultiplexer is we call it as demultiplexer we also call it as single input multiple output switch yes there is one more name we also call it as single input multiple output switch yes because there is only one input and there are multiple outputs here yes so we call it as single input multiple output switch so we have multiple outputs which are existing in this case okay also uh, in the concept of demultiplexer see because the demultiplexer is distributing the data to the various destinations so the principle here is that 
द कम्युनिकेशन अगेन शुड बी द यूजेज ऑफ द कॉमन रिसोर्सेज आई मीन द प्रिवेंशन ऑफ द वेस्टेज ऑफ बैंडविट एज एज वॉट वी डिड इन कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ मल्टीप्लेक्सर है ना मल्टीप्लेक्सर में हमारा टारगेट क्या था कि अगर मल्टीपल सिग्नल्स को हम लोग अलग 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 भेजते हैं तो चैनल की मीडियम की बैंडविट वेस्ट होती है तो वही यहाँ पर भी टारगेट है कि हम उन्हें एक उसके थ्रू इनपुट ले रहे हैं ताकि वो बैंडविथ वेस्ट ना हो एंड देन दे ऑपरेट वाइल distributing the data to the respective destination so this is one of a very important facility in communication system communication ke andar ye bahut important facility hai we are using this type of concept when we are transmitting the audios or transmitting the videos right so jab communication ke upar baat aata hai audio video different types of communications whatever we are doing then demultiplexer is one of a very important concept okay so demultiplexer us case mein बहुत अच्छे से यूज होता है और इसकी एप्लीकेशन भी मेजर यही है इट इज मेजरली यूज्ड इन द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम यस दिस इज मेजरली यूज्ड इन द कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम वेयर व्हेन द इनपुट कमिंग फ्रॉम मल्टीपल सोर्सेस दैट इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड टू द रिस्पेक्टिव डेस्टिनेशन एज अकॉर्डिंग टू द रिक्वायरमेंट ओके yes please so now here we have discussed the basics about what is multiplexer and what is demultiplexer now the most important part why did we uh, started this topic or why i have kept this topic in discussion the reason being because there are a number of categories or the types of multiplexings which are existing and that is what is important which you should know and also you have to understand the concept of the various categories like you know multiplexing is of two categories majorly multiplexers rather are of two categories one is we have multiplexers which are analog multiplexing and second is we have the multiplexing which is also called as digital so let me show you here i i'll be drawing a picture to illustrate this better so we have multiplexing or rather i'll say multiplexers we will put in two categories everyone one is will place it in the category analog and second is they are of the category digital now what is the difference between them that i'll tell you okay now analog type of multiplexers they are using the two types of multiplexing concepts which are first is they are using frequency division multiplexing also it is wavelength division multiplexing and here when we talk about digital type of multiplexing then digital type of multiplexing is time division multiplexing now so what is the difference here existing between analog multiplexing as well as digital multiplexing see digital multiplexing is basically the term digital which define the discrete bits you know that digital word corresponds to what when we use the word digital digital word corresponds to discrete bits जब हम डिजिटल वर्ड्स को यूज करते हैं डिजिटल वर्ड को डिफाइन करते हैं तो डिजिटल का मतलब होता है डिस्क्रीट बिट्स मतलब डेटा यहां पर जो अवेलेबल है वो अवेलेबल है इन द फॉर्म ऑफ फ्रेम्स इन द फॉर्म ऑफ पैकेट्स विच आर डिस्क्रीट राइट सो हेयर द डेटा इज अवेलेबल इन द फॉर्म वॉट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ पैकेट्स or we can say in the form of frames yes a packet or a small unit is created for the data and that too which is discrete alag alag hai right continuous data nahi hota yahan par discrete data hota hai right so and because discrete data hote hai isliye hum isko digital type of data bolte hain digital type of multiplexers bolte hain and the best example which we put here in the digital type of multiplexing is what we call as time division multiplexing now what is time division multiplexing everyone in the concept of time division multiplexing first point to remember this is a digital procedure that means it is using bits right it is using the discrete bits or you can also say the data which we have is available in the form of packets is form in, it is available in the form of units is available in the form of frames which are discrete okay so here each sender is given the entire possession of the whole bandwidth of the channel for a fixed duration of time very simple understanding can be let us consider that uh, you all have studied i think or you all know about the concept of time 
line division and multiplexing related to round robin. Right? Round robin is a very good example that you can understand here. Round robin concept is a topic of your operating system. Yes, everyone, please raise your hands if you know about what is round robin. Yes, please. What is round robin? Round robin operating system के अंदर आता है हाँ जी operating system में आपने सबने पढ़ा होगा round robin method जहाँ पर ये एक scheduling method है जिसमें round robin में fair share होता है fair share का मतलब क्या होता है बच्चे सबको equal chance मिल रहा है right every process every job is given an equal right to access the resources right okay very good so now same topic same type of logic we are using here in the concept of time division multiplexing so here what is happen time is divided into slots yeah matlab aapne samay ko tod diya like I am dividing the time into the slots, the slots created for let's say 2 2 milliseconds. Huh? Time ko humne slots me toda aise aur har ek slot 2 millisecond ka hai. Example hai ye mera ki har ek slot 2 millisecond ka hai. That means every station will get only 2 millisecond to use the complete bandwidth. मतलब पूरी बैंडविड्थ आप एक स्टेशन को दे रहे हो पर टाइम फिक्स है दो मिली सेकेंड दो मिली सेकेंड के बाद वही पूरी बैंडविड्थ दूसरे स्टेशन पे चली जाएगी दो सेकेंड मिली सेकेंड के बाद वही पूरी बैंडविड्थ तीसरे स्टेशन के पास चली जाएगी तो लेट अस कंसीडर दिस इज माय स्टेशन ए स्टेशन ए विल बी यूजिंग द कंप्लीट बैंडविड फॉर टू मिली सेकेंड आफ्टर विच इट इज गिवन टू स्टेशन बी स्टेशन बी विल बी यूजिंग द कंप्लीट बैंडविड फॉर टू मिली सेकेंड आफ्टर विच इट इज गिवन टू स्टेशन सी स्टेशन सी will be using the complete bandwidth for 2 millisecond after, after which it is given to station D. So, this process keep on going. Ek kuch fix same ke liye puri ki puri bandwidth ek station ko milegi uske baad wo wahan pe message ko transmit karega aur pure 2 millisecond ke baad wo bandwidth dusre station ko transmit kar di jayegi. So, we can also say this is a type of fair share. Yes, we can say this is a type of fair share. Matlab sabko barabar ka chance mil raha. Everyone is getting an equal access. Everyone is getting an equal right. Okay, let's see a picture to understand even better. I'll, I'll come to this example just a second. This is a picture best explaining. Like here you can see, bache, first of all, computer number 4, station number 4 is getting a right of the complete bandwidth to transmit the message. After this, computer number 3 has the complete right to transmit the message. After this, computer number 2 has the complete right to transmit the message. After which, computer number 1 has the complete right to transmit the message. Right. So, this way, every computer has equal right to transmit the message and once computer number one is done with transmitting the message then again chance is given to computer number four because round robin ek tarike ka first come first serve concept hai na just me wapis se ghoom ke pehle wale ko chance mil jayega to jab first ka chance over ho gaya to wapis se chance kis ko mil gaya fourth wale ko and the cycle keep on moving right so this type of logic is what we call as time division multiplexing and that's what we are using in the round robin method also Yes, or is ka subse acha example at television broadcasting because television ka jab serial chalta hai na, to usme kya hota hai ki 10 minute ka aapka pehle serial chala, let's say koi bhi daily soap aap dekh rahe ho, ya television pe jo daily ke episodes aate hai, unki baat kar rahe hai To daily episode mein kya hota hai bache ki 10 minute pehle episode chala, uske baad ek 5 minute ka break a gaya. To ab ye सीरियल ऑर्डर में है कि पहले 10 मिनट्स का एपिसोड चलेगा उसके बाद 5 मिनट का ब्रेक आएगा है ना अब इसके बाद फिर दोबारा 10 मिनट का एपिसोड चलेगा फिर 5 मिनट का ब्रेक आएगा सो देयर इज अ प्रॉपर सीक्वेंसिंग व्हिच इज यूज्ड एंड दैट कंप्लीट फ्रीक्वेंसी दैट कंप्लीट बैंडविड्थ विल बी यूटिलाइज्ड बाय आइदर द एपिसोड और बाय द एडवर्टाइजमेंट 
मतलब जितनी देर एडवर्टीजमेंट चल रही है तो उतनी उतनी देर पूरी की पूरी बैंडविट एडवर्टीजमेंट ऑक्यूपाई कर रही है जितनी देर वो एपिसोड चल रहा है उतनी देर पूरी की पूरी बैंडविट एपिसोड ऑक्यूपाई कर रहा है उसमें कुछ भी नहीं हो सकता चेंज राइट सो हेयर दिस इज द बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल विच यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड फॉर टाइम डिविजन मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग टेलीविजन ब्रॉडकास्टिंग इज द बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल यू कैन रीड हियर आई क्लियरली मैंशन जनरली टेन मिनट्स ऑफ सीरियल फॉलोड बाय अ फाइव मिनट ऑफ एडवर्टीजमेंट है ना दस मिनट का सीरियल फिर पांच मिनट का एडवर्टीजमेंट सो द टाइम इन विच द सीरियल इज बींग ब्रॉडकास्टेड द टोटल फ्रीक्वेंसी इज इज डेडिकेटेड टू सीरियल जब एपिसोड चल रहा है तो पूरी की पूरी फ्रीक्वेंसी उस समय पे एपिसोड को मिलेगी एडवर्टीजमेंट उसमें नहीं आ सकता राइट right? और जब एडवर्टीजमेंट चल रहा है तो पूरी की पूरी फ्रीक्वेंसी एडवर्टीजमेंट को मिलेगी उसमें एपिसोड नहीं आ सकता राइट यस प्लीज क्विकली रिस्पॉन्स नीडेड अंडरस्टूड एवरीवन व्हाट इज टाइम डिविजन मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग विद एन एग्जांपल दिस इज वन ऑफ अ सिंपलेस्ट एग्जांपल defining time division multiplexing and this is something which we generally use in our day to day life hai na hum episodes dekhte hain aur uh, dekhe hue bhi honge to wo ye ek kuch aisa example hai jo uh, definitely aapko uh, clearly samajh aayega aur aap ise yaad bhi rakh sakte ho because ye bahut popular sa example hai real life example okay bachche now on the contrary part we can also understand what is frequency division multiplexing frequency division multi multiplexing although it comes under analog multiplexing so first of all we should know what is analog multiplexing pehle baat karenge analog multiplexing kya hota hai but usse bhi pehle i have just an amazing announcement so yes everyone there is grf cup tournament between education and computer science so haan ji match 3 hone wala hai grf cup tournament education wale students aur computer science wale students ke beech mein matlab ek taraf hogi priyanka ma'am with टीम एंड दूसरी तरफ मैं विद माय टीम सो यस एवरीवन हमें जीतना है ये मैच सो डू ज्वाइन फॉर दिस सेशन एवरीबडी ट्वेल्थ ऑफ नवंबर सैटरडे को है ये सेशन बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग रहने वाला है इट्स अ मैच इट्स अ क्विज ऑब्वियसली यू विल गेट क्वेश्चंस यू हैव टू रिस्पॉन्स हियर एंड देन विल सी कि किसका कितना स्कोर है सो डेफिनेटली स्टार्ट प्रिपेयरिंग बिकॉज हमें जीतना है तो हमें सही आंसर देना है ओके सैटरडे वन पी एम है ये सेशन बच्चे ऑन यूट्यूब सो प्लीज नोट दिस प्लीज मार्क इट सो दैट यू ऑल विल ज्वाइन फॉर दिस लेक्चर इट विल बी अमेजिंग इन ट्रस्ट इट विल बी अमेजिंग बैटल जस्ट फॉर फन एंड विल सी हु विल विन एजुकेशन और कंप्यूटर साइंस राइट प्लीज नोट डाउन अलॉन्ग विद दिस आई एल ऑल्सो वॉन्ट टू अनाउंस here few more things which are related to the session on the byju's app so yesterday i mean on tuesday sorry tuesday we have already conducted one more session of important topic syllabus discussion because on byju's app we have already started new beginning sessions now what are new beginning sessions bachche they are actually for uh, the new start so i have already conducted two sessions tuesday 1st november was the first session and and again tuesday 8th november was the second session so in these two sessions we have already talked about the important topics in those sessions mein maine sare important topics bataye hain pure syllabus ke for computer science so this is mandatory this is must advisable to all the students to watch these two sessions if you have missed right to agar aapne miss kare hain main iska link dobara share kar dungi byju's app ke session hai to important topics mein ऑलरेडी बता चुकी हूं पूरे सिलेबस के राइट right? तो बच्चे यस ट्यूसडे वाले ये दो सेशंस फर्स्ट नवंबर एट नवंबर के जरूर देख लीजिएगा आई विल शेयर द लिंक वन मोर टाइम ऑन टेलीग्राम आल्सो वन मोर अनाउंसमेंट नाउ आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग द थर्ड सेशन आई बी कंडक्टिंग अ थर्ड सेशन हाईली डिमांडेड फिफ्टींथ ऑफ नवंबर और इसमें हम बात करने वाले हैं प्रिपरेशन स्ट्रैटेजी क्योंकि अगले पेपर के लिए अब आप क्या क्या चीजें प्रिपेयर कर सकते हैं हाउ यू कैन प्रोसीड व्हाट आर द प्रिपरेशन ट्रिप्स व्हाट टॉपिक्स यू कैन इंक्लूड राइट सो ऑल दोज प्रिपरेशन स्ट्रैटेजीज 
अप्रॉक्सीमेटली थ्री मंथ और फोर मंथ प्रिपरेशन स्ट्रैटेजी मैं यहाँ पे आपको बताऊंगी विच इज रियली वेरी हेल्पफुल टू क्रैक द एग्जामिनेशन सो प्लीज नोट डाउन ट्यूजडे फिफ्टीन ऑफ नवंबर नाउ लाइव सेशन प्रिपरेशन स्ट्रैटेजी ऑल्सो वन मोर अनाउंसमेंट मेगा वर्कशॉप बाय तोशिबा मैम 11th of November tomorrow. So we shall be talking about how to score maximum marks in paper one. You know that it's very very important to score good marks in paper one because you cannot qualify the paper only with paper two, right? So paper one में भी आपको अच्छा score चाहिए होता है net GRF लेने के लिए. So बच्चे yes क्या important points हैं? कैसे आप score कर सकते हो? तो शिबा मैम कल ये workshop में discuss करने वाली हैं शाम को 8 बजे. So yes you all can register for this and join this workshop. Okay. Moving further, we can talk about the next part, which is frequency division multiplexing. अब frequency division क्या होता है? Frequency division ये होता है जिसके अंदर in contrast to time division. First of all, let's talk about that. This concept come under analog type of multiplexing technique. हाँ. Now what is analog multiplexing? Analog multiplexing means that they, here we involve signals which are analog in nature. Yes, here we have signals which are analog in nature. The signals which are analog in nature, they are involved here. And here we have two types of concepts used, which is frequency division and wavelength division multiplexing. Okay, what is frequency division? What is wavelength division? Let's quickly understand. Frequency division is a technique in which on contrast to time division what we were doing in time division the complete bandwidth is given to one station for a given time slot yes but here we are not doing this rather than giving the complete bandwidth to one station for a given time slot we are dividing the frequency yes everyone so we are dividing the frequency we are dividing the frequency and giving it to multiple stations so that all stations can transmit at one time sabhi stations ko thodi thodi frequency de di theek hai thodi thodi frequency de di aur sabhi station ek hi samay pe message ko bhej sakte hain kyunki sabke paas kuch kuch frequency hai है ना और उस कुछ कुछ फ्रीक्वेंसी में वो अपने डेटा को ट्रांसमिट कर सकते हैं सी टाइम डिवीजन मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग में सारे एक साथ डेटा नहीं भेज सकते इट इज नॉट प्रमोटिंग साइमल्टेनियस ट्रांसमिशन बाय बिकॉज टाइम डिवीजन में अगर स्टेशन फोर भेज रहा है तो स्टेशन थ्री टू और वन को वेट करनी पड़ेगी बाय बिकॉज उनको अभी टाइम स्लॉट मिला नहीं Got it. But यहां पर क्योंकि सबके पास थोड़ी 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 फ्रीक्वेंसी है सो एवरी वन कैन ट्रांसमिट एट वन टाइम Yes, every station can transmit at one time, but we do not want the signals from multiple station to merge. क्या हम ऐसा चाहते हैं कि स्टेशन नंबर ए का सिग्नल स्टेशन नंबर बी का सिग्नल स्टेशन नंबर सी का सिग्नल और स्टेशन नंबर डी का सिग्नल आपस में कंबाइन हो जाए नहीं वी नेवर वॉन्ट द सिग्नल्स ऑफ मल्टीपल स्टेशन टू कंबाइन विद ईच अदर राइट सो यस बिकॉज वी डू नॉट वॉन्ट द सिग्नल्स टू गेट मर्ज अप देयर फोर देर इज अ स्मॉल स्पेस विच इज केप्ट इन बिटवीन इनके बीच में थोड़ी सी जगह छोड़ी जाती है जिससे मल्टीपल स्टेशन का सिग्नल आपस में मर्ज ना हो जाए एंड दैट स्पेस विच इज लेफ्ट इन बिटवीन दैट इज कॉल्ड एज गार्ड बैंड यस एवरी वन दे आर कॉल्ड एज गार्ड बैंड सो गार्ड बैंड इज बेसिकली the strip of unused frequency so beach may in between we have some some unused frequency which is left known as guard bands and why do we do this because we do not want the overlapping of signals we do not want signals of station a to merge up with b to merge up with c to merge up with d ha na we do not want signal of any two stations to merge that is why we always leave a small space in between which is called as guard bands this is important you can expect numerical question also from the concept of 
uh, frequency division multiplexing and here frequency division multiplexing the best example you can use a traditional television system also because number of uh, uh, serials or number of channels rather they were using a single cable which is uh, the concept of frequency division multiplexing huh? so the best example is traditional television transmitter yes everyone the best example is traditional television transmitter because in tra traditional television transmitter what we are doing in traditional television transmitter there are multiple uh, number of channels which are transmitting through one single cable hai na ek hi cable ke through wo transmit kar rahe hain to ye iska ek example aap log yahan pe samajhne ke liye le sakte ho also i have given one example one picture to illustrate the concept really better yes we can talk about uh, radio stations as well because radio is also using a type of frequency division multiplexing jaise aap example le sakte ho ki radio station 92.7 jis samay pe data bhej raha hai 92.7 usi समय पे 90 रेडियो स्टेशन 95 भी भेज रहा है है ना उसी समय पे रेडियो स्टेशन 98.3 भी भेज रहा है तो ऐसा क्यों हो रहा है बिकॉज इनको अपनी अपनी फ्रीक्वेंसी मिली है 92.7 के पास अपनी फ्रीक्वेंसी है रेडियो स्टेशन 95 के पास अपनी फ्रीक्वेंसी है 98.3 के पास अपनी फ्रीक्वेंसी है पर अब हम ये नहीं चाह रहे हैं कि इनकी जो डेटा है वो आपस में मर्ज हो जाए है ना तो इसी वजह से इनके बीच में थोड़ा सा स्पेस छोड़ देते हैं जिससे कि सिग्नल्स कंबाइन ना हो और वो अनयूज्ड फ्रीक्वेंसी जो छोड़ी जाती है उसको हम गार्ड बैंड्स कहते हैं यस प्लीज अंडरस्टूड ओके so you we can see a picture to understand the concept even better i have some numerical questions also uh, just after discussing this topic we'll be starting with the numerical questions we'll be starting with some of the theory uh, plus conceptual questions to practice yes everyone this is the example see everyone is transmitting at one time you can see one signal carrying the frequency from one from frequency from two frequency from three everything but here there's a small space which is left intentionally unused you can see so that space which is left intentionally unused is basically the guard bands like here this is a space which is kept intentionally unused this is a space which is kept intentionally unused right okay so this is a picture showing frequency division multiplexing yes please confirmation needed everyone clear we have one more type of concept existing for multiplexing one more type of multiplexing which we discuss in analog multiplexing concept and that is known as wavelength division multiplexing so one quick confirmation needed so that we can proceed to our last type of multiplexing known as wavelength division multiplexing okay perfect chaliye clear so now bachche the last topic wavelength division multiplexing is also a very simple type of multiplexing but here the only difference see wavelength division multiplexing we can say it is conceptually same as yes it is conceptually same as frequency division multiplexing matlab jaise frequency division kaam karta hai waise hi wavelength division kaam karta hai conceptually dono ki working mein koi difference nahi hota okay but what is the difference the difference only difference existing is that wavelength division multiplexing is used in optical fiber communication yes wavelength division multiplexing concept is actually used with optical fiber communication that is the only difference which we have we are not using the traditional cables or twisted pair cables or coaxial cables no we are using the wavelength division concept for high speed transmission because you know optical fibers are high speed transmissions right so for optical fibers will be using wavelength division multiplexing that is the only point of difference existing between the wavelength division and the frequency division okay so here in wavelength division 
वेरी सिंपल इट इज कॉन्सेप्चुअली सेम जैसे फ्रीक्वेंसी uh, के अंदर मल्टीपल डेटा स्ट्रीम्स को आप एक साथ भेज रहे हो है ना वी आर सेंडिंग मल्टीपल डेटा स्ट्रीम्स Uh, all together into one channel, just leaving a small space in between, some uh, strip of unused frequency, which is called as guard band. Same way, we are allowing the wavelength division to to work. Like the data streams, multiple data streams, they have different frequencies. They are transmitted all together. The only point is we are combining the different frequencies into single light for communication. So now we are using optical fibers, है ना? हम ऑप्टिकल फाइबर्स को यूज कर रहे हैं तो यहां पर लाइट के फॉर्म में वो ट्रांसमिट होता है ओके सो सिग्नल्स आर फ्रॉम डिफरेंट सोर्सेस दे आर कंबाइंड बाय मल्टीप्लेक्सर व्हिच इज एसेंशियली एन ऑप्टिकल कंबाइनर सो दे आर कंबाइंड सो दैट देयर वेवलेंथ्स आर डिफरेंट उनको कंबाइन कर दिया जाता है मर्ज कर दिया जाता है क्योंकि उनकी वेवलेंथ्स अलग-अलग हैं ठीक है ठीके? और जब इन्हें ट्रांसमिट करते हैं तो हम कैसे ट्रांसमिट कर रहे हैं वी आर ट्रांसमिटिंग दिस वाया अ सिंगल ऑप्टिकल फाइबर स्ट्रैंड right so we are transmitting this with the help of optical fibers so because we are using it optical fiber we can also say we are transmitting it with single light for communication because optical fiber kisko use karta hai optical fiber ka best part hai ki optical fiber light ko use karta hai ha na so light ke form mein ye jo data hai wo transmit hoke jata hai conceptually working is absolutely same okay we can see a picture to understand here like this the wavelengths coming from multiple sources right this is combined all together as we did in frequency division multiplexing the only point is here the signals are transmitted in the form of light because it is using optical fibers yes please confirmation needed everyone clear what is wavelength division multiplexing we have seen a example of wavelength division multiplexing the picture also shown here the wavelength division multiplexing logic so we have seen the concept of multiplexing also the concept of demultiplexing with the various categories yes jaldi se confirmation aur hum move kar rahe hain apne questions ke upar ओके क्लियर वेरी नाइस चलिए सो नाउ लेट्स मूव टू द क्वेश्चन एवरी वन लेट्स क्विकली मूव टू आर क्वेश्चन एंड यू हैव टू आंसर वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन राधर दे विल बी नॉलेजेबल टू नो मोर अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग एंड डी मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग सो हेयर वी गो टू आर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन राइट इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज डिजिटल मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग Yes, everyone. Given few options, you have to tell me which of the following is the digital type of multiplexing. Time starts now. Frequency division, wavelength division, time division. अभी हमने दो categories पढ़े हैं multiplexing के एक analog होता है, दूसरा digital होता है. कोड डिविजन हम इसमें नहीं पढ़ते जब हम टाइप्स ऑफ मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग्स पढ़ते हैं मोनू तो हम उसमें कोड डिविजन को generally नहीं study करते हैं. बेसिक कैटेगरीज में वी ओनली टॉक अबाउट एनालॉग एंड डिजिटल वेयर वी स्टडी ओनली फ्रीक्वेंसी वेवलेंथ एंड टाइम राइट ये एवरी वन डेफिनेटली द राइट आंसर टाइम डिविजन मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग बिकॉज टाइम डिविजन मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग इज अ कैटेगरी ऑफ डिजिटल मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग वेयर एज फ्रीक्वेंसी डिविजन एंड वेवलेंथ डिविजन दे बोथ आर द कैटेगरी ऑफ एनालॉग मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग राइट बिकॉज दे यूज एनालॉग सिग्नल्स हाँ और एनालॉग सिग्नल्स को यूज करने की वजह से उनको हम एनालॉग मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग बोलते हैं Yes. Okay. Now the next question, everyone. I've also added the solution for this. This is a picture shown. Multiplexing two categories: analog, digital. Frequency division, wavelength division are the category analog, and time division is a category is an example of digital. Okay, time division is also further of two categories which we have not covered here. But yes, we do have two categories of time division. One is synchronous, and another one is called as asynchronous. Yes, there are two further categories existing. 
वन इज नोन एज सिंक्रोनस एंड सेकेंड इज नोन एज ए सिंक्रोनस ओके we define the term synchronous and asynchronous also synchronous here is the input is connected to a frame so if there are n number of connections existing then there are the, the, the frame is divided into n number of time slots in case of time division ha huh? matlab agar aapke paas n number of connections hai to aapka jo frame hai wo n number of time slots ke andar divide ho jayega aur ek slot ko ek input line ke sath connect kiya jayega theek hai aur agar hum asynchronous ki baat karte hain to sampling rate thoda sa different rahega because yahan pe clock signal is not common in in synchronous there is one common clock which is connected with all the different slots with all the inputs huh? but here there is a different clock which is used राइट सो यहां पर जो क्लॉक कॉमन ना होने की वजह से जो सैंपलिंग का रेट है वो वेरी करने लग जाता है वेर आर सिंक्रोनस के अंदर बिकॉज देर इज वन कॉमन क्लॉक सो हेयर ऑल सिग्नल्स आर यूजिंग वन क्लॉक दे एलोकेट द सेम स्लॉट टू ईच डिवाइस एट ऑल टाइम हर एक स्लॉट को एक जैसा टाइम मिलेगा हर एक समय पर पर ए सिंक्रोनस में ऐसा हो सकता है कि सबको अलग अलग स्लॉट मिल जाए बिकॉज यहाँ पे कॉमन क्लॉक यूज नहीं होती है दैट इज वॉट आर डिफरेंस एग्जिस्टिंग बिटवीन synchronous and asynchronous okay also now the next question question number 2 what multiplexing method do the codec used to transmit two pcm signals in opposite direction over the same transmission line yes everyone think and reply acche se soch ke aapne answer dena hai it is a device actually codec is a device or a computer program which is actually used for encoding and decoding yes which encodes or decodes a data stream or signal so this is a type of device we can say it is a device or it is a computer program and for what purpose it is used it encodes which encodes or decodes what it encodes or decodes data stream or signal right okay so here yes the right answer it used to transmit two pcm signals in opposite direction over the same transmission line transmission line ek hi hai there is a common transmission line par us transmission line ke andar opposite direction ke andar transmission kiya ja raha hai so waise jo codec hai ye device is used for voice digitize voice music video audio inke liye use kiya jata hai ha na to yahan par jo concept hai follow kiya jayega ya opposite direction mein agar aap signals ko ट्रांसमिट कर रहे हो तो उसमें हम ट्रांसमिशन टाइम डिविजन मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग के थ्रू कर सकते हैं यस वी कैन यूज टाइम डिविजन मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग हियर इन दिस केस इन ऑर्डर टू ट्रांसमिट डी कोड डिविजन मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग नो बिकॉज वी आर यूजिंग हियर इट इज टाइम डिविजन रीजन बींग बिकॉज वी आर यूजिंग इट टू फॉर वॉइस ट्रांसमिशन फॉर म्यूजिक ट्रांसमिशन फॉर वीडियो ट्रांसमिशन सो टाइम डिविजन मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग सीक्वेंसेज एनालॉग डेटा यूजिंग द कोडेक विथ सैंपल्स द डेटा इन टू अ स्ट्रीम एंड एट द रिसीवर्स एंड द कोडेक रीअसेंबल्स द डेटा फ्रॉम द टाइम डिविजन मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग स्लाइसेस सो ये एक स्ट्रीम बना के उसको ट्रांसमिट म्यूजिक वॉइस ऑडियो वीडियो जो भी है उसको ट्रांसमिट करेगा टाइम डिविजन मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग इज अ राइट आंसर फॉर दिस राइट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एवरीवन हियर the main advantage of time division multiplexing over frequency division multiplexing is what 
what is the main advantage of time division multiplexing over the concept of frequency division multiplexing? which requires less power or less bandwidth or a simple circuitry or we have better signal to noise ratio. So what is the major advantage? The main advantage of the time division multiplexing over frequency division. See, although time division can be slower also because all stations cannot transmit at one time. Hana? But what is the main advantage? The main advantage is it is always having a better signal to noise ratio. Signal to noise ratio is ki achhi hoti hai matlab average signal power divided by average noise power better hoti hai to agar average signal power or average noise power inka ratio better hoga to you can say that signal is less corrupted Yes, everyone, we can say signal is less corrupted and because signal is less corrupted, so definitely this is one of a prime advantage which is existing in case of time division multiplexing. Next question here. In a time division multiplexing, which of the following is true? Time is doubled every bit of a byte, between bit of a byte. Time slicing at CPU level take place. Total time available in the channel is divided between several users and each user is allotted a time slice. None of these. So what is true regarding times division multiplexing? Whatever total uh, time we have, that total time slot is divided between the multiple users. Time division is ko kehte hai na? Ki matlab uh, bohat sare jo stations hai, unko sabko ek fraction mein aap time de rahe ho. Hai na? Har ek sig station, har ek signal kuch fraction of time ke liye aayega in a proper pattern. Matlab total time jitna bhi hai, usko aapne users ke beech mein baat diya. That is what the best explanation is, right? Total time is divided between multiple users. Every user is getting a time slot and that user can transmit the message within that time slot only. So that's what we are doing in time division. Yes, that's what we are doing here. You can see here that each signal appears on, on the line only a fraction of time in an alternating pattern. There is a pattern which is followed. Right? But the total time ko apne divide kar diya between several users so that they can transmit the message. Okay. Next question, everyone here. Next. There is a statement, rather I'll say two statements given, statement number one and statement number two, two statements given. You have to find out which of the statement is the right statement or both are right but it's explanation or not. Huh? Ek statement ko yaan pe explanation bola ja rahe, dousre ko ye statement ke form mein consider kar rahe. Like frequency division multiplexing using analog modulation system and multiplexing help transmitting a number of data simultaneously over a single channel. So what is the right statement here out of A, B, C and D? Bahut easy question. Hai. It's very easy question. Yes, please. Both are the right statements, definitely. Dono statements bilkul theek hai. Kyunki frequency division multiplexing ek tarike ka analog system hai, analog type of concept hai, bilkul correct hai. Aur multiplexing hum isle use karte hai taaki hum ek hi channel ke through multiple signals ko transmit kar sake, right? But Although both statements are true, this is absolutely true statement, this is also a true statement, right? But Statement number two is not explanation of statement number one, right? They are correct at their place, but it's not explanation. So definitely B statement will be true here. Yes, B statement will be true here. They are not explanations. Okay, 
they are not explanations correct before we proceed to next question everyone please do a favor press the button like mark your attendance everyone next question here frequency division multiplexing is an analog multiplexing technique which is used to combine dash analog signals digital signals time invariant signals or even signals frequency division multiplexing is a analog multiplexing technique and it is combining what type of signals because it is a type of analog multiplexing technique it is actually used to combine multiple analog signals hai na to analog signals ko merge karte hain analog signals ko combine kiya jata hai aur aisa kyun kiya jata hai reason for this the reason for this is it is usually applied when the bandwidth is greater than the combined bandwidth of the signals so milane ke baad bhi mere channel ki bandwidth zyada hai राइट सो हम उसको मर्ज कर देते थे क्योंकि वेस्टेज ना हो दैट्स व्हाट इज आर टारगेट द मेन टारगेट टू प्रिवेंट द वेस्टेज राइट ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एवरीवन क्विकली लास्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर द सेशन मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज यू ऑल नो द आंसर फॉर दिस मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज वॉट डू वी कॉल मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग एज मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज मेनी टू One and demultiplexing is also called as one distributed to many, right? So multiplexing is called as many to one. Demultiplexing is called as one to many. Very simple question. Okay. Now moving to our homework question of the session, everyone, which will be discussing in the next lecture. So yes, this is my homework question for today. Which of the following is not an advantage? not an advantage i am asking not an advantage of time division multiplexing in me se kya time division multiplexing ka advantage nahi hota right signal interference is less more flexible full channel can be used for every signal fast data transfer right so this will be discussing in the next lecture tomorrow everyone and finally one more time before winding up the session do not forget you all have to join me live 12th of november for this amazing tournament 1 pm on youtube where we will be battling against education students to for the grf cup tournament this is match 3 so yes please note down and join for this theek hai ji sabhi bachche do not forget you all have to join me live for this session saturday 12th of november okay right that is all for the class bachche will be meeting now in the next lecture tomorrow ab hum kal milne wale hain agle session ke liye aur tomorrow will be discussing again a very important concept switching Yes please tomorrow we'll be discussing what is switching and what are the categories okay that all will be discussing tomorrow again in the morning 11 am for the youtube session right and please do a favor before going like the session and do share the session with your friends as much as you can जी बिल्कुल मैं अभी ट्रांसफर कर रही हूं आपको लिंक फर्स्ट टेन एट नवंबर वाला जो सेशन हो चुका है उसका लिंक आई एम फॉरवर्डिंग ऑन टेलीग्राम सो यू ऑल कैन वॉच द सेशन ऑल्सो वन मोर थिंग बाइजूज एप सेशन डू नॉट स्टे फॉर वेरी लॉन्ग सो प्लीज डू वॉच इट क्विकली राइट सी यू ऑल इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर थैंक यू सो वेरी मच एवरी वन गॉड ब्लेस यू लॉट्स ऑफ लव बाय बाय टेक केयर